Elo wise, this is Leon in rank 24, Ice Orc in rank 33. <clears throat> so this is like the tier B uh, ranking, roughly speaking. Last time Leon also played in the B Cup. There he was. Okay, wait, I have to look that up. I think he was eliminated first round. Hold on. Oh no, he um, was eliminated, eliminated in the group stage. That's right. Eliminated in the group stage by dice. So this is an improvement for Leon already. Making it into the top 16. And oh, on paper, it seems like this could be a beatable opponent for Leon. By the way, thank you Incandenza89 with the resub. And thank you Budcrumbs gifting a sub to Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo. Thank you, thank you. Mountain King first, by the way. That's something I haven't seen in a while in this matchup. I think 40 played it recently in one game against Lin, right? MK Fast expansion seemed quite popular for a while. Oh my god, pick up the item. Thank you. MK first, huh? Leon trying to go for the Ooh, Shadow Priest pickup. Always a bit scary, very squishy little unit, but MK tanks the damage, looking all fine. Now Leon has some Dispel as well. But he's going for the tech. Oh, no Arcane in the main base, tech coming up. Peasants here could be in serious trouble if the Farseer plays aggressive with the Wolves. Which so far though he is not. Oh, first little encounter. Over here at the green cap. Stonebolt on the headhunter. That could be level 2 for the MK if he gets the experience here. Oh, he misses the block. Small mistake by Leon here. But stops moving with the headhunter. So that actually gives him level 2. That's now bash as well on the MK. Oh, long range Stonebolt on the grunt even. Trying to get the surround. Oh, nice block though. Very nice counter surround by Ice Orc. Saving the grunt with the wolf. So Leon is playing MK1 base. Into rifles. Stonebolt again on the headhunter. And I guess he's gonna get him. <clears throat> Good deny though. MK now basically out of mana. In a couple of seconds, gonna have one more Stonebolt. And getting two kills early in the game. Not bad, not bad. But I would assume very soon there's gonna be a shop needed. Shop to heat up the MK. Get those clarities running. But we don't see it yet. Stumbled again, this grunt. Probably dead, or can he save it? No, with a bash, that's a kill. Not even a deny, not even a deny this time. Shadow Priest goes down as well, but I think the Shadow Priest did its task really well. Got a couple of dispels off, a couple of heals off. Worth the investment. Fast here though, good experience here, 2.5 versus 2.3. There's still no shop though. MK going for the boots. I guess Leon was pretty broke here. Going AM, going rifles, couldn't really afford a shop. MK shows up. Oh, could almost steal the item. And with a 
couple of bashes, he might be able to get more kills. Yep. Lots of kills for Leon this early game. I feel like this is looking really good for him with this Mountain King. One more bash. Oh, bash, that would have been the kill. Oh, there it is. Boots and bash, baby. Ice Org is not going Shaman, since there is uh, no Water Elementals to fear yet. Skipping Shaman does make sense, but Water Elementals will soon join as the AM shows up. Saul Aitman with the raid. Thank you, thank you. Ice Orc took a lot of losses in this early game. Grunts dying, Headhunters dying. This is not what he was hoping for. TC trying to creep up fast now. Get the level 3 as soon as possible. But he's still pretty far away. MK getting the level 3 right here. Big involvement for him. Also very nice. Thank you, Gatsu, with the resub. He is trying to expand here. 29 supply only. Risky Expo Fice work. Leon is holding the skill point, by the way. Is he gonna go 1-1-1? One, one, one? I've never seen that on an MK. Militia called as well. <clears throat> MK getting both big consumables here is a big deal. Scroll the beast. Not too bad. Quite good actually. When I mean, there's no dispel with the rifle army. But the expansion might actually finish, despite the fact that the orc army was so tiny. Leon hasn't scouted for it yet. Wasn't expecting it, apparently. Big item from the Ogre Mage. I goes to the Mountain King. It is now Stormbolt 2. Oh, item on the ground. One of the wind. Really good against TC. Stormbolt flies. Grunt in trouble. Scroll the beast popped on the entire army. This is where Leon should try to take a fight. Ideally? But Ice just gets away with a speed scroll. That was a bit of a waste on the scroll of the beast in the end. A little bit more experience here for the human side, but that's not going to result in an item or a level up. And time is ticking. Great Hall close to done. We have another round of militia coming in from the main base, though. Second attack upgrade for the rifle is also about to be done. TC eats a storm ball to the face. It's a lot of damage. This TC doesn't have a ring of protection. He is very squishy. And the scroll of the beast was still lasting for a little bit longer, but now it's gone. TC again eats the hammer to the face. One more bash and he's dead. Yup, there he goes. Rip TC and this game might be over. One of the wind really good on the Kodo as well. I like that. It's a 20 second cyclone on units. And this MK is just cleaning house. One by one, really strong now, on level four. More bashes. And the slow as well. Kodo Beast uh, ain't not gonna stand for too long here. Always amazing how squishy a thousand HP can look on a Kodo Beast. At least we have reinforced defenses. The orc expansion is indeed finished. That's the one thing that I think uh, Leon Slesson realized. There's an expo. Running and running and running. Lots of healing cancelled here by the rifle. That was kind of neat. Human shop next to the orc main base is gonna finish. Oh, nice wall off here. 
With a lumber mill, Leon trying to keep the main base safe. And the MK now. Very, very dangerous. Almost every storm bolt could result in a kill. Isoc has to buy a lot of time. <clears throat> if he can have this expo running long enough for him to take a big supply lead, then maybe there's a way. But he's facing a strong, strong MK. On the chase still. Stoneball again and again. Sorceress. Oh. Can't quite get off the slow in time. Shop is going to be taken out. The raider here is tasked with the duty. Oh, trying to get the fast here. Gets in range with the slow, forces the TP. Dispel, dispel. Finally, the wolf is gone. And now I guess the next attack should be towards the expo. We got one tower here upgrading already. That's pretty neat. I saw going for the right play, I think. He's going for the labor mode. Zeppelin. And mass lame. Leon trying to set up towers. Quite a few of them in the main base. That's smart. But I think they might be a bit too late. They might be getting cancelled here with Ice Orc on the way already. Zeppelin soon to reach its target. One arcane tower, 60% done, but not in time, I think. And all of a sudden, Leon in a weird spot. How long is he going to stay down here in the south? When's he going to TP home? Because the push is in. Here's the drop. Leon has to call to arms, I guess. The peasants, though, in serious trouble. Peons were repairing like crazy. So many peons at the expansion here, by the way. Arcane Tower did somehow finish. Small mistake maybe by Ice Orc. Not casting that one. When he had the chance. And there's still some peasants left. If Leon takes up the expansion and can TP home in time to save the main, he should be looking tremendous. Gunning down the peons one by one. And the keep is still pretty high HP. The Raiders here, perhaps not targeting the right building. If they had gone for the keep right away, that might have forced Leon back sooner. But now, Leon taking out the last few of the peons and taking out the expansion as well. And now he can TP home without any worries. Oh, well, maybe there's a worry though. Keep is dropping low. Keep is dropping really low. TP out from the orc. Not trying to destroy that keep fully. And I saw left. Okay, I guess he felt without the expansion, there was no chance for him anymore. If he came back with a follow-up attack and takes out the keep, maybe that could have been a chance. But the MK was also looking crazy strong. MK1 base. That's not something we are used to seeing. MK1 base into rifles. It seemed like Leon got away with way too much there in the early game, right? Just with level 2 MK with boots, he got so many kills. Isoc, maybe he needed earlier salves, earlier speed scroll to keep his unit safe better. Because, yeah, it seemed like he definitely lost a bit too much. Lost a little bit too much there for my liking. So Leon goes up one and oh. Okay, map number two. What is it gonna be? Uh, concealed Hill, apparently. That's a map where if humans want to fast expand, normally here it is considered too difficult. But uh, Leon didn't seem too inclined on playing Expo, even with MK. 
when normally with Mountain King we expect expansion play here, Leon made work off of just one base. I really liked how it worked out macro-wise for him as well. He didn't go for the shop early, didn't get clarities, which is normally always the thing you expect from Mountain King, but instead he rather went for more units, more tech, like blacksmith rifles, and his resources lined up perfectly in the end. Getting the MK, I mean getting the Archmage on tier 2. Continuing to creep. And relying on a strong Mountain King the whole game. Normally though when you play MK, you want to have an, a map with easy creeping, easy level 3. And Concealed Hill is the exact opposite. Concealed Hill has difficult creeping on most of the map. Also no mercenaries. Big deal for being the MK was also the mercenaries. If there was no Shadow Priest early game, it would have been a much tougher game for Leon. So this should be a return to Archmage, most likely. MK here would be a big, big surprise. And so Archmage it is again. With the Orcs, of course, is always a Farseer in this matchup. You need to have something strong out on the field early. The Blade Master is just a little too slow in the tempo. Fastier fits the bill. Really strong early game. Can level well if given the chance. And also, Wolves always good against rifles. Humans on this map like going for an aggressive low 3 creep route. Creep this camp first, move up north, keep creeping greens in the top, and then if you call militia to creep this green, that can then nicely line up a level 3 timing. And if you get there early with level 2 water elementals, that can put a lot of pressure on the orc right away. It's a two-farm tech. As fast as it gets for the human. Staying back home, defending his economy. Since he skipped the tower. Suing it here with his units and hero. Here comes the blacksmith. Ooh, I like that. Most humans don't do this. Most humans go for a farm first and then blacksmith. And I'm, I'm always like, isn't that improper? Shouldn't you go blacksmith first, then farm? Maybe even a tower, like we see here. Because you're not going to make any more footmen. Three footies, that's it. And then we go into riflemen. So this could be very quick rifle production. Fast mountain king on tier two. But Archmage stuck on only level 1 for a long time. That is, of course, a bit annoying. The farm needs to be repaired here, Leon. Oh, he's gonna lose the farm, so he still cannot make riflemen, still. I'm playing very, very cautiously, very passively at the start of the game. A player's forces are under attack. Looks like a great start for Isok here. He has zero experience, though. That is a downside. Other than that, however, the way he's been able to control Leon, slow him down. Very well done. And now Leon can begin rifle production. With five headhunters here, he can creep very easily. Same is not the case for Leon, man. He is struggling. 
to get just a little bit more experience, this headhunter would be enough for level 2. But probably gonna be denying itself. Oh, the rifle. Comes out the barracks. Doesn't make it away. Leon has to repair this that farm for at least a little bit. Start the next rifle. Start the next rifle. Okay, and he does. Just in time. Two farms going down, though. This is kind of annoying. Really messes with the, uh, the unit production. Cost the Farsi a lot of mana, though. Wolves got burned from the arcane. Farsi got burned. He's completely out of mana. There's no wolves ready to be summoned here for a long time. Two farms lost. But that's the only thing, I guess. Leon lost. And maybe one footy somewhere? Yeah, one footy somewhere also went down. AM now has a decent amount of mana again. Farseer with nothing. Gonna fake an Ogre Lord pull, but he can't really do that right now, especially without wolves. Leon had enough lumber here. Pacific set up the Sanctum as well, so we're gonna have priests coming. Maybe Sorks coming soon. A player's forces are under attack. What do we have for Isork? Does have a lodge this time, also a bestiary. And now finally Farsia level 2. Had some wolves ready again. MK solo creeping the lab without watch elementals. Seems a bit scary. Archmage wasting his time right now. He's looking for the creep jack, but he can't find him. A little unfortunate with the timing. Walking between the creep camps, unable to find the orc. AM. Um, yeah, very inefficient here over the last minute. Now we should finally know. Leon checked three camps, didn't find the opponent. Isok was always there where Leon wasn't looking. MK receiving all the solo experience. Same now for the TC. Heal scroll picked up. MK has the big healing already. And the Ogre Lord might be the big next point of contention. Uh, Isoc trying to pull him in, but he might have gotten blocked. Yeah, he got blocked by his friends. Didn't quite follow behind the tavern. Oh, Leon is just going to give it away. Leon just going to give this item to the opponent. Trying to go for the last hit. Steal, but he can't get it. Chain Lightning secured the last hit, and that's a big item as well. The Legion Doomhorn is amazing. Even more move speed on the Orc side. But the MK gets level 3 first. And that should be clap 2 normally. Indeed it is. Oh, look at Ice Orc. Creeping the lab right away. That's pretty risky. MK can line up the perfect clap right here. Purge to slow him down though. And a smart TP out. Clap getting one kill. MK used a lot of mana already though. This was great for Ice Orc. He got two big items. Only cost him one unit. Plus of course the TP, but... Well worth it, I say. Now that we are around 50 supply, this is oftentimes where humans will go second sanctum to pivot then into mass casters, breakers, late game, but Leon's lumber is too low. He can't really afford a second sanctum here. Invuln on the TC can use that to dodge the first storm bolt. A player's forces are under MK doesn't have any mana items, though. Not the perfect MK game here. While Icehawk is again trying to get the next item, and he gets it. Scourge Bone Chimes found. Doesn't have that many melee units, so I don't think it's that amazing. TC running in, ready for the stomp. MK again, low mana. Toby Groby with the resub, thank you. 
militia were arriving from the main base that again pushes Iceorc away. And Leon, by the way, hasn't lost any units in a while, so Leon has lots of gold indeed. Could jump into upkeep very soon if he wanted to. Ah, and there we go. There is now the second sanctum and the shop. And that means breakers can soon be added. But Isaac's getting way more items. Again, he's gonna go over to the next red camp, get the next big item here. <clears throat> What is it? It's right here. I can't click it. Battle Giant Strength. That is good on the TC. Not super amazing, but good. Leon running to the other side of the map. Doesn't want to give up this whole quadrant of the map to the opponent. Oh, Archmage at the shop going for another heal scroll. And Leon is still being cost-efficient, still saying in no upkeep, not breaking yet, and neither is Ice Orc. I feel like the MK should be going for an inborn though. Yeah, there it is. Triple heal scroll, wow. On Leon, that's pretty crazy. And MK level 4, big level up there. Ice Orc being extremely evasive this game, Tr running away from every fight. Just trying to snipe as many creeps as he can. Experience-wise, we are fairly even. But MK is higher level. And MK is normally the strongest hero in the field, especially in the late game. The weird thing is Leon upgraded rifles already on 1-1. One, one, and now he's going to pivot into breakers. We don't benefit from the upgrades, but... They still make for a strong late game addition, being magic immune. Armor upgrades being researched for the breakers. When are we going to see these players breaking supply? Good water elemental scout as well. Sees the expo timing. And this is the last little green camp right here on the map. Farsia made it to four, but not for the TC. He's only level three still. Belt and ring, really good on him. Finally found some bonus armor. That's something you really, really, really want with a TC. And now we're breaking, by the way. With breakers. Fittingly. Ah, oh, wait, there's one more green camp. One little camp indeed left here to take for Leon. MK with a pendant is good. But as you can see, Leon's permanent items are minimal. He's got a pendant and claws. And that's it. He's got strong consumable items, but weak permanent items. Because most of them were sniped by Ice Orc. Oh, Leon using the replenish here. I don't like that really. It's kind of a waste. He could have waited to use that with the invul potion when needed. And just heal up with priest heal. Another heal scroll. Oh my god. Four heal scrolls on Leon. 67 supply, more breakers on the way. 1-1 one, one upgrades also about to be done for them with 1-1 one, one as well on the rifles. Leon's timing attack here is looking very, very strong. On the orc side, we have two heal scrolls and also a big army, but no upgrades at all. Great haul not done yet. Thank you, Nico, for gifting a YouTube support membership. Much appreciated. Militia arriving as well. Indeed, this is looking like a perfectly timed attack lining up for Leon. Chain lightning on the militia right away. Leon needs to commit here. If he just runs back all the time, that's uh, not the way you want to do it. So it's just starting to throw out the slow, but it's only one sword, but it had a lot of mana. So lots of slow can still be used. TC trying to make it into the back line has one beautiful stomp. MK clap also on the other side though, looking really good. Heal scrolls being used on both sides. Next stomp comes in. Leon can face tank some of these thanks to the heal scrolls. And the MK clap on the other side doing a good job as well. MK now one kill away 
from the level up. Big mana potion used. Stomp coming in again. Raiders in the back. Farseer in trouble. Farseer might go down. Can't get away with a speed scroll. Just barely wasn't enough. But Leon still losing lots of units here. Lightning Shield on the Raider was active this whole time. Didn't get dispelled. Leon using the last heal scroll. Now he's out. One more clap from the Mountain King. It is clap level 3, of course. MK, I mean, Archmage also reaching level 4 here. And there's not much mana left on the Shaman. So Watch Elementals could be good again. Two coders have eaten. One coder goes down, though. And this game is now looking very good again for Leon. With more Sorks on the way. Perfect timing towards the expansion before it really paid off. And Isork has to wait a long time until the Farseer is back. Is Still one heal scroll on Leon. Did he buy that again or did he keep it throughout the fight? I'm not quite sure. Ten supply lead for Leon with a level five and a half Mountain King. Looks like the German human player here is going to go up 2-0. Come on. 4 HP, brother. Oh my god, dude. If Ice Orc wins because this Great Hall remains standing, that would be insane. And Leon isn't destroying it. What the heck? Leon here doesn't have any priests left. Which seems like a bit of a mistake. But there's a health fountain, which he's healing from right now. And now we got one priest. In again. Two priests. Alright, there we go. So now, healing is taking place once more. Bro. Does Leon not realize that this expo isn't destroyed? Dude. Farseer... Making it back now. But the MK, Invis, looking for the big claps. I don't like these stone balls, to be honest. Like, once you're MK level 5, shouldn't you just, just, shouldn't you just be spamming clap? Stone ball is like, whatever. Dude, the expo's still mining. Oh my god, Leon. He still has an incredibly strong army. Stormbolt again on the TC. Why? He can't even stomp anything. There's only breakers here. Just use clap, baby. Look at that. Look at that clap. Oh my god. That's what I want to see. That's what I want to see all the time. But now MK, low mana because he wasted his mana on Stormbolts. But still the human army is looking strong. Archmage getting kind of close to five, maybe? Well, he's not too close in the end, though. I am here taking lots of damage. Now Stoneball on the TC. Heal scroll comes in. TC is hurt, but has the Invo Potion. We have a lot of breakers here in the mix as well. Iso is getting some good kills, but also losing a lot always in exchange. Human army seems to have outscaled the Orc army by now. But there's still this mining expansion that I cannot believe Leon didn't take out earlier. One more clap. There we go, baby. MK level 6. No need for Cosmodon. No mana for Cosmodon. And Archmage level 5. It's also tremendous. Going for the aura right away. Tons of mana regen now with the level 3 brilliance. And yeah, hammer time, baby. MK level 6. Almost impossible to beat. And I guess this time the expansion will actually be taken out. All right. All's well that ends well. Thank you, Bronkic, for the resub, and Langustin Gustel with the resub as well. Thank you. Nice. 
Man, these claps are so sick. Perfect positioning here as well. TC can't get to the back line. MK and Breakers are blocking. MK now losing lots of HP, but he's got potions. Ain't no problem. And that level 3 Stormbolt is dangerous. Yup, there it is. TC here taking a lot of damage. Invul comes in for one stomp. Come on. One beauty stomp. Nice one. Hits basically everything. Trying to go for the MK hero kill. But there's almost nothing left in the Orc army here. And so Leon is going to take it. Takes map 2 for the 2 and... Oh, convincing showing by Leon here. Was a... Bit of a sketchy early game, perhaps. Was stuck on level 1 for a long time. He lost a couple of farms. The rifle production was actually slower than perhaps initially we thought because those farms went down. But still, rifles came out then at a good pace. MK came out really soon and MK was leveling like crazy. Once you get MK level 4, level 5, that guy is just an absolute beast. Leon looking very strong today. Looking very confident today as well. 2-0 lead now for him. And our third map is going to be coming up here in just a moment. Northern Isles is the pick. Quite often, the map that orcs will go to Easy to pull up, to apply pressure to the human early. Pretty easy to level up the MK. I mean the TC up well. Also, take center control. Take the heal scrolls. It's kind of like a classic orc map control kind of game. If the orc gets off here to a good start, it can be very rough for the human. I always like when humans create this Tuskar camp first, because that initial immediately. Uh, dispels all the issues of being stuck on level 1. When humans go for green into green, and you don't get the last hit here, then you are going to be in for a rough ride. But... Judging from the altar positioning here, Leon may indeed want to go for the Tuscar. Fastia, one grunt into headhunters. Appears to be the build here. Archmage again, no mountain king. If we go to Echo Isles, or another map with Murkamp, then perhaps we may see a mountain king again. Echo Isles is in the pool, also... Uh, ah, no, no Terranos. That's right, no Terranos, Dan. Early tower. Leon wants to be safe against the wolves. Sometimes you don't even get harassed by the wolves. Sometimes the Farseer is just creeping on his side of the map. Get these two green camps for level 2. I think with a grunt opening, normally that points towards early creeping. Oh, he's going to go for this green camp first. Okay. Whoa. What? Leon is creeping the lab first. What? Isn't that so risky? What if the Farseer was here harassing? Wow, that seems crazy to me. What if the Farseer was here? In this case, he's not, but how can you know? Well, since there's nobody here to harass, this is great for the AM. This is going to be a quick jump to level 2. Circle that also nice. Fast here also getting level 2. Getting claws and gauntlets. Oh, 
Wait. Can the militia creep the green? Would that be enough for three? That would be kind of sick. Militia moving out now. Wait. Are they creeping? They're creeping the Magi? <sighs> Militia only. Dude, this looks... This creeping looks so risky. <laughs> By Leon. But if it works out, man, then all the better. Wow. Imagine there's two wolves here. Harassing. Leon with a power play. Level 3 here is going to be achieved in a moment. He's got a good amount of mana. But not that many footmen. Okay, militia pulled back. Of course, the orc tech is far ahead here in this game. Is he gonna go for a beastmaster, maybe? Archmage level 3 plus Beastmaster attack early on tier 2 can be very strong. I still need to creep one more cab. This one right here to get level 3. And we have reinforced... No, wait. That's spike barricades. Of course, reinforced defenses is tier 2. <laughs> that's right. And the blacksmith coming. So it still looks like MK rifles for the most part. Fossey are still only level two. Shaman, however, could be very, very strong in this game against the level two watch elementals. Forces are under attack. And the AM is losing a lot of mana without much gain. These water elementals, despite them being level 2 so early, really didn't do too much. I wonder if it's going to be a tavern hero here. He's far behind in the tech timing, so it might make sense to go for a tavern. Nope. It's just, again, Mountain King. And Sanctum. Archmage now alone, looking for some building cancels. But the Spur Lodge is almost finished already. Don't think that's going to work out. Oh, if he gets the cancel, though. Ooh, that would be big. Footies and Rifles attacking in the meantime in the center. Ooh, there's the water elemental. Would be so important for this one to finish. Use the stomp to secure it, and so the lodge is done. There's a beast tree up here as well. Neanderthal, Warcraft 3 with the resub. Thank you. I think Leon's a bit too late for everything here, though, to get any of these cancels. Maybe a bit miscalculated. Shouldn't have committed to the Lodge cancel. But now the MK is out and can begin creeping. Book of the Dead, by the way. There is some playmaking potential with this item. Are oh, the AM still being disruptive? Ring plus 5 for the MK, really good. TC here creeping also the natural, he's a little bit slower with his attempt. Also ring plus 5 for him, so can't complain, that tankiness is quite nice. Now it's about getting level 3 on the second heroes. Yeah, classic orc move here. At daytime, you go to the center, you creep the big camp, 
Ideally, Leon would want to contest here with militia support. Militia are late. Now they're coming, but this is late. Archmage also isn't here yet. Stonebolt on the ground right away. Oh, he got the steel, right? With the clap? Yeah, he got the steel with the clap. Sick. Well done by Leon. Item went to the TC. Bit of accuracy. But Mountain King now very, very close to level 3. Militia arriving, as you can see, a little bit too late. If they had been earlier, Leon could have perhaps done more here. Baiting the Stormbolt, and it is successfully baited. Is there a heat scroll? Yeah, there is. One heat scroll on the fast here with a speed scroll, he gets away. Should definitely give these boots now to the MK. All these items should be on the Mountain King. TC solo creeping the Tuscar, and that is level 3 for him. Scroll of the Beast. Is not the greatest. Leon, please give these items to the Mountain King. They would be so much better on MK. He's not realizing it at the moment. Expansion found here with the Watch Elemental as well. Leon a bit unsure if he wants to engage or not. A bit indecisive. And again, these items should all be on Mountain King. Leon again going for the late game second Sanctum, getting ready for Breakers. So you're gonna give them over now? There we go, finally! Circlet on the MK. At last. Ice Dog has taken an experience lead though. He's getting close to level 4s already. Leon is not close to that at all. And the expansion keeps Leon busy here quite a bit. Camp is gone. That's Farseer almost level 4. And now there's not too many creep camps left. The red camps and the orange up here. Ice are going to go for a base attack. Taking out the shop easily. Oh, Leon gonna start the red camp, really? Ooh, this is gonna cost him quite a few buildings then. At least one Sanctum's gonna go down. Some militia are gonna fall as well. Leon wants to pick up the item. Does he have the time? Yes, he does. Class plus 12. Decent for the Archmage. Not too amazing, though, I would say. And there was quite a few peasants going down. Lumber income. It's going to be low now. Shop has to be remade. And again, we got the expo coming up and Ice Orc, way more gold all of a sudden. 60 supply, still a couple hundred gold. This game is looking pretty good for Ice Orc right now and Leon doesn't have a TP. Oh, that is so dangerous. Moving out this far without a TP, Leon. No, can't afford it. Kodo down the south, gonna get purged. Leon may not know that there's an expansion there, but he's probably having a, a strong feeling. Double ring for the MK, really good. Very tanky mountain cake. The 
Replenish potion. Two heal scrolls on the orc side. Ice orc's best game yet. Leon trying to go for one more heal scroll. And then I guess it's go time. Sixty-nine supply for the orc. We see a clear supply lead on Ice Orc here. MK Invis. Scouting things out. Three Kodos, three Raiders, three Grunts. Three Shaman. And four headhunters. Again, the Stormbolt is a waste of mana, right? Why Stormbolt is Grunt? Doesn't do nothing. And the Kodos get in. Get off two Devours right away. Great start of the fight for Ice Orc. MK trying to land the perfect claps. That was a good one. But he's quickly running out of mana as well. Storm comes through. MK is kind of hurt. Heal scroll. Much needed. And that was the last clap. Good in Dodge Dodges the stomp there from the Torrent Chieftain. TC completely untouched this whole time. And Iso seems to be absolutely running away with this fight. MK gets level 4. But that does that change much? I'm not sure. Decent heal scroll right there. Dion's army is evaporating. One unit after the next. Going down. And so Ice Orc gets on the board for the first time. Good game. But Ice Orc here. Again, I think uh, coming out ahead with a mid-game creeping. The mid-game creeping for Ice Orc seems to be looking quite a bit better than Leon's is. Getting more items, getting more experience. And on this map, also getting early shop access. Which is a big deal. So Ice Orc here, showing us what he's made of, will not be defeated so easily. And then the next map pick, map number four, will be Leon's choice. All right, and the map is Autumn Leaves, which is a rarely seen map, just in general, but also in this matchup. I feel like we never see this map. What's the creep route? What's the game plan? We're not too familiar with it on this map. There is a Merc Camp on this map, but it's very difficult to get to. Very risky to try to pick up mercenaries here, so it's, uh, yeah, a tough Merc Camp to make work for you. Archmage again. The Mountain King may have just been a one-off thing.
Early tower for Leon. Oh, what's this footy doing? Wait, is he gonna go for this orange cap? Re wait, is he? I've never seen this done before. It's like a dangerous camp to creep early because the null assassins here, these two dudes are pretty burly. Ooh. Okay, with six militia, he's actually gonna creep it. This could be pretty difficult with the Farseer involved. Oh, look at that. Going for the Shadow Priest early. Ooh, that's a nice play. Farseer showing up in the main base. The Arcane Tower is not quite done yet, but will be in just a few seconds. Leon pulled off the creep here pretty well. But as you can see, it takes a while. Militia duration has been all used up. Big mana potion for the Arc Archmage. And that costs a lot of lumber. Peasants here taking a long time to get back to lumber. While the orc tech has already started. One head under here. Scouting what's going on. Wait, it's a fourth farm. Is Leon gonna expand? Fassi, very low experience so far. Second level one for a long time. Leon is pretending that he's going for the push into the main base. Oh my god, the tech here is gonna be so late. Defend already being researched. Wait, is he gonna expand or not? What's going on here? A player's forces. More peasants. I guess he has. It has to be an expansion now. Or does it? <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Here come the militia. Very difficult read to have for the orc here. AM was able to keep the orc forces busy very well, and now the militia creep. Pretty easy creepy at the expansion, of course. Archmage. Oh, almost getting surrounded. Leon. Eyes on the road. And now we do have to defend. Archmage. Oh, he needs one kill for level... For level three, actually. He needs to kill one wolf. To get the level up. But he can't get it yet. This all looked pretty cute for Leon, but it might not quite work out in the end. Also, the Archmage taking that much damage earlier was not ideal. And it has to be footies, footies, footies all day. Tower coming up slowly at the expansion. Archmage being chased around by the wolves. Man, he needs that one kill so bad. Five experience! That's all he's missing. 5 XP. Isaac though doing a good job. Not throwing away the wolves. Man, he needs this. He needs this kill. So bad. Would love to see a shop here also for Leon to heal up. The wolf, does he get it finally? Oh my god, finally. That took forever. Tons of mana on this Archmage especially. With the big mana potion still available. And the Fox is getting more kills little by little. Archmage scouting out the main. Beastery could be an easy cancel. Should be. Uh, maybe not. I am always chased by these wolves. Always has to be careful. There's a repair in the main base. The beastry also not going down. 
Ice Orc not looking too bad, right? Farseer finally getting some experience as well. But AM using the big mana potion. He wants to keep the pressure up. Trying to take out the Beast Fury. And I think it should be enough. Oh, it's close. Oh, it's close. But he gets it. <sighs> Last second cancel. It slows down the Raiders by a ton. That's a big deal. This buys Leon lots of space here. As the tech is started. Cool play by Leon, man. Being very difficult to predict today. Playing MK first, playing Rifles, playing Expo. Bunch of different styles. Oh, and it cancel again. TC, though, gets level 2. But Leon now finally getting some stuff done as well. Would love to get some more headhunter kills here, but I think these should be safe. AM also needs to start to think about healing soon. He's very hurt still. Shop is coming at the expansion. We get double towers here. Blacksmith coming. Lots of footmen have been lost. That gave the orc quite a bit of experience. Farseer now about to get level 3. And this is a strong tier 2 orc army already. And of course the shaman nullify the strength of the archmage. Archmage indeed very hurt. Man, you gotta heal, buddy. It is time to get home and heal up. Archmage going for heal scroll and invuln. Trying to keep the shop away. Oh, Farseer showing up. Scares. The AM away. But look at the TC. Almost level 3. It is level 3 already. Wow, that is extremely fast. I like the farm wall here coming up at the expo, but it might just be a little bit too late. Oh, surround! Oh, sick! With a 4 footy, finding the surround against the forest here at the trees. Wait. He had the surround! Leon moved the footman unnecessarily. That's a shame. He had this around and then he ran away with a footy. So no TP is forced. The counter expansion is coming up. And MK second now joining as well. Leon with lots of resources, but also he needs to find a way to build a big army, and that is going to be with a double sanctum. Leon is looking for the Expo Cancel, but Ice Orc can smell it. Got the Shaman in position. Good play here by Ice Orc. Good game by both so far, I would say. Yeah, there's no way. Leon can get this. Ain't no way. Archmage. Careful. If there's a Shockwave. If there's a Shock... Oh my god, Leon, how do you not see this coming? Huge mistake. And that puts Leon far behind. Archmage benched for a very long time. Orc hero levels are insane. Double level 4. With TC you're having insane tank items as well. MK. Only gonna get level 2 soon. And Leon's going tier 3. Taking a page out of Sock's book I think. Who's been playing much more tier 3 lately. I don't hate it. With his heroes being so far behind, it's unlikely that he's going to be successful in tier 2 versus tier 2. So he's trying to go tier 3 to prevail in the ultra late game. Pally would be great. Griffins would be great. Inner Fire would be great.
nice little magic also. Kind of sick. Isoc is creeping a lot though. Thank you, CN09 with the resub. Go, go, Leon, he says. Mm. Wait. Workshop. For more teams? Curious. Ice Orc is hella rich, by the way. 1400 gold. He hasn't lost anything in a long time. Cat gas pipe. Oh, baby. Come on, retraining on the Archmage. We're going to go to Blizzard soon. Leon still in no upkeep. No. Griffin Aviaries, by the way. It's going for a gyro for scouting. Twom X with the resub as well. Human go! He says. Oh, the gyro is also really good to reveal the sentry wards. Isaac went for a witch doctor early, so there's sentries all over the place. Gyro has permanent detection. That's smart. MK now is not too far away from level 4 either. AM basically has it. Pally 3rd coming. Now we go into upkeep. Priest Master Training. Sork Master Training. And Knights. Knights, good front line, but only as long as they don't get devoured by Kodos. It is more teams. There's still an item here, by the way. Ancient Django, found earlier. Very nice as well. Alright. Big experience lead on the Orc side, but human tier 3. There is frag shards already. These more teams could be quite scary. And the farm coming. I would love to see a staff as well. Even Orb of Fire. That doesn't really uh, work well with the other thing. The Blizzard, but fair enough. One Knight devoured, by the way. Oh, no, wait. That was a Spellbreaker. But this one was the Knight devoured. Chain wave into the back. Heal scroll needed right away. More teams. Blizzard. MK. Lots of AoE in theory. But so far, not many kills. Not many kills at all. Great start to the fight so far for Ice Orc, finding lots of kills and pummeling this human army. Two devours. Human forces very hurt here. Oh, he doesn't have priests anymore for the dispel. Oh, Ice Orc just going for broke. Ice Orc going for broke here into the main base. Oh my. Needs more priests. Leon badly, badly needs more priests. Knight returns though. And it's a slaughter on the peasants especially. Peasants are going down left and right. Paladin almost dead as well. Clap, Blizzard doing decent work. Shockwave finds the kill. Pally is dead. Supply is still kind of even surprisingly. But a TP out with a lot of hurt units. And a great attack for Ice Orc. Leon lost a ton right there. Need to send peasants back. Still the items here at the expo. Gauntlets and Tomb of Knowledge. I think going for Orb of Fire was not a good idea. Staff. 
Would have been better. Staff is on the pally, actually. Supply-wise, we're still very even. We got full mining again in the expo. In the main base, I mean. We don't have control magic, by the way. Leon, you need to remember control magic, buddy. Kodo about to devour as well. Chain lightning, big damage, shockwave! Oh my god, the AoE damage is insane! And I think Leon's forces are getting kind of owned here. Oh my god, the chain wave. Oh my god, the damage is crazy. Archmage almost dead as well. Trying to go for the TC kill, but he's so tanky. Look at these items. Got a health stone still. Now he's level 6, and I think this game is over. Yes, it is. GG. And Ice Orc takes map number 4. Leon with a really cool play. Level 3 creep route. Playing harass, playing distraction, expanding behind it, but a couple of big mistakes. Of course, losing the AM was a huge one, but also before that, when he was moving the center of the map, right before he was level 3, didn't pay attention to his Archmage, took way too much damage unnecessarily, then he couldn't partake in the fight too well. Leon here with a couple of unnecessary errors. Costs him map 4. And so, we are nicely tied up with 2-2. Two, two. And the winner of the next map will go up to match point. We haven't checked out BBC's stream so far today. Let's see what's going on over there. I think we got some signature cards. The lady's back again with the tissue in her ear. I hope she's doing good. They're not having any snacks right now. Is that a real tattoo, by the way, he has on his arm? Or is that like a temporary one-day tattoo? Ah, there we go. There are the snacks. Here we go. What is this? Er, shi, shong, de, chu. Something. Is it double packaged? Hell yeah, it's double packaged, baby. Whenever they open these, and they eat some of them, I swear to god, I can never tell what it actually is. What is that? I want to see. So it looks like a paste or something. No, that's like a cracker, right? Dude, it's so hard to tell, I swear to God. Well, whatever it is, I hope it tastes good. Like, normally I feel like when, whenever, whenever in Germany you buy something to eat that is packaged, normally on the outside of the packaging it is displayed, it is shown what the food is. But with theirs there never is. All I could see on the, on the packaging there was 33. Whatever that means.
Well, it is the halfway point in our series. It was like beef jerky, was it? It looked so perfectly rectangular. I thought it would be crackers. Oh, by the way, look at this. Look at this picture from Leon. God damn. Look at that handsome devil. Ooh, I think it's also the shirt he wore at Rara Land. Oh, gotta, gotta, gotta look away, guys. This is getting too spicy. Okay. Map number five, about to begin. Tight Hunters, it shall be. I watch for the Leon player cam. Is Leon actually streaming right now? I wonder. He sometimes streams his tournament games, but I think most of the time he doesn't. Yeah, at the moment, at the moment he is not. Today for Leon, full focus is on the game, not so much on the stream. He may be back to streaming tomorrow because uh, if Leon advances today he won't have to play tomorrow the follow-up game is going to be the day after tomorrow on the 27th where the winner plays against Lawlight by the way not an easy opponent here for either Ice Orc or Leon one of the two will make it through and then after this of course our next match is going to be Pink versus PCG an Undead Mirror, which I don't think I've ever seen between these two. Where the winner will go up against Lin. Over here, it certainly seems like uh, Lin is going to be looking favored in his next match. All right, is the game ready? Almost, 30 seconds, and then we're good to go. Hey Remo, have you ever seen Potom first versus Under in a professional match? Well, funny that you should ask. It was indeed two days ago when I saw it for the first time. It was Happy versus Lawliot, where Lawliot tried with the Potom first on Turtle Rock, a very bold strategy that didn't quite work out, but Lawlight got close in the series in a bunch of games. The bottom game, though, was the less, the least close game, I would say. With the Warden first, he did really well. With the Panda first, he also did really well. But the bottom. Uh, yeah, Potom not looking that amazing. I think the Potom needs some more buffs, if you ask me. All right. Off we go, fellas. Map number five. Important map right now. Winner moves on to match point. Strong comeback here by Isoc also. Leon was able to take the 2-0 lead. But then Isoc has been striking back.
The fast expansion play didn't seem to work out too much for Leon. Maybe he's going to go back into one base, fast MK, strong creeping. Oops. Titan is normally known as a map where humans like to fast tech and then go for heavy MK creeping. If you have enough space, MK creeping can work out quite well on this map. Wait, what is this creep route going to be? Early tower. Altar pointing south. Is he going for the knolls? Or just this green camp? You can go this green into this green for a level 2. I guess that is the plan. Oh, watch the metal ensnared. That is not ideal. Uh, first little mistake by Leon. Okay, didn't take too much damage though. And it's gonna be a fast tech. Two farm tech with a tower. So the tech will be very even, with Leon having just a slight lead. Fasi also creeping at the start, so it's going to be a fast level 2 on both sides. And blacksmith and rifles soon to join. Oh, defend even! For three footies only. That almost seems like a waste of resources to me, I gotta say. But okay, let's see how much value you can get out of this defend. Trying to surround the burrow here. Prevent the peon repair. But good load up. Good load out. The repair is there. The burrow is saved. How long for the defend? It's almost done. Okay. Now we got three footies. With defend. Blacksmith finishing. And rifles on the way. Defend upgrade is 150 gold, 100 lumber, so it is fairly expensive, so, yeah. Might be a bit of a waste in the end, but we'll see. Oh, if this burrow is cancelled, it means TC might be delayed. And the burrow is cancelled. But, new burrow coming up. Again, right away. Chain lightning? Nope. All right, tier two done. Here comes the Mountain King, as is expected, and Sanctum, and more rifles soon. Archmage trying to snipe the item up here. Go for the big Magi. Here also defend help. So this is a cool upgrade. Also for creeping. Big item for the Archmage. One of mana steel. Not too bad. Mana. Always a big deal. But this is Fossey level 3 already from this camp. Fasio has been leveling very, very well. And I think that puts Isok into a good position again. Okay, but now the MK 
Gonna go for the big camp right away. Using the militia, using the watch elemental as well. This is cool. What's the big item gonna be? Flute of accuracy. Yes. Lots of bonus damage on the rifleman. Archmage just being annoying. Playing distraction. And can scout for expansions as well. Not a very flashy Archmage game, but a good Archmage game. I would love to see the Farseer be a bit more aggressive, maybe. If the Farseer was harassing the MK creeping, that would be super strong. But right now, Iceorg is concerned with keeping his own side of the map safe. Leon, about to hit level 3 already. MK now, very, very close. Trying to get the items from the shop. Picks up the heal scroll. Quetzal's boots for the TC were not really good. Pen of energy, though. That's a lot better. Second Sanctum might again be added soon. The late game breaker transition as we saw before. But no expansion yet here on the Orc side. Oh, big item from the Murgol Marauder. Dead yet. Okay, now he is. Heal wards, really good. Quick dispel against the wolves. They are eliminated quickly. It is stumbled and clap once again. Deny even there on the rifleman. Front line for Leon is looking minimal though. Oh, nice heal scroll. Coming in right there. Dispel against the Lightning shield finally. Seemed a little bit late, maybe. Clap in the back doing huge damage. Oh my god. Speed scroll used. TC on the way forward. Mana drain against him. However, the clap is again insane. One of mana steel against the TC, against the Stomp here. Looking absolutely sensational. And the orc forces are getting completely wiped off the map. Shaman are all dead. Headhunters all dead. And the human hero is still alive. TC almost surrounded here. Oh, he is. Has a TP to get away. Leon has a supply lead. Keeping position here down the south. Can keep on creeping. Level 4 MK already. But we have an expansion. That's something Leon should really look for right now. Call one militia maybe. Send him over there. And Icehawk made to the shop. Got the invoke potion. MK now. Kind of exposed. Needs to give him the TP. Hiding with the Cloak of Shadows. Oh my god. <sighs> Priest trying to heal him up. MK so hurt. Oh lord. Oh lord. Kodo gonna go down. Rifle comes back. MK so so hurt. Next stomp. Next stomp could kill him. Three. Two. One, stomp now, ready. <sighs> Good TP away to save the MK. And we do have heal wards. Even if there's no shop, you can still heal up. That heal ward now. Very, very necessary. Hawk heroes, fairly low mana as well. Need to get those clarities in. Again, going to the shop. What do we have? What can you afford? 
One heal scroll. That's it, pretty much. One heal scroll versus one invuln. And the Orc Expo is scouted. We have Militia again on the way. Not too many, but they might be a little bit of use. Tap. Hitting the Raiders right away. There is a lot of melee units here in the Orc Army. Grunts, Raiders, lots of beef. TC in trouble, by the way. TC goes down. Couldn't give him the invuln in time. Invuln there. Definitely on the, on the wrong hero. Don't want to have that on the... On the fast here, that should be on the TC normally. That's a lot of kills for Leon. This game is looking really, really good all of a sudden. Taking out one raider after the next. Nice little block there as well. And another grunt to fall. Maybe even two. Tons of kills for Leon. And this might be map five going to him. Would love to see a shop here now for Leon. He's got some peasants to start construction. This expansion hasn't paid off too much yet. And now the peons have to be sent away. Isol trying to stay competitive with high level heroes. Fast, you're getting kind of close to 5 already is good. But he needs TC5 as well. It's the Mountain King who is the closest to level 5. TC makes it out of the altar just in time. Could land a beautiful stomp right away, but he gets storm bolted first. Slowed as well, but it's dispelled. He's got one stomp, and that one is good. But now out of mana. Now the MK can try to take over. Scroll the beast being partly dispelled. TC in trouble again, and goes down right before the invuln. A millisecond missing. Archmage very hurt now as well. Has to go for the heal scroll. TP on him as well, has to use it, dodges the damage from the Chain Lightning. And that is two more kills with two more Raiders falling. Great save here by Leon. And again, he can make it to the shop. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, one sword goes down right away. That's level 5 Farseer. That's not bad. But dispel, clap, and the wolves are gone. Oh, Kodo Beast. Gets up a Devourer, but still lots of piercing damage against them. AM level 5 does go for level 3 Brilliance. MK now regening mana like crazy. Nice priest here as well. Priest heal. Keeping that rifle alive for a bit longer. And Icehawk does not have much left at all. 29 supply only. TC again dead. And the TC again should make it out just barely. Yes, he does. MK now. Very tough to bring down, even without any real tank items. Oh, the Raider actually getting away. The Wolves are doing a good job, but with only Wolves... There's not much of a chance. T 
Jeez, he finally made it to level 4 at least. But does that really change too much? I'm not so sure. Leon here looking tremendous. Map number 5. After a little drought in the series, seems to be going to him again. If the TC was level 5, then anything might still be possible. The TC is far away from that. Oh, that's a good stomp. Waiting still for the chain lightning. There it is. And, oh, nice save on the rifle. Just barely holding on. Alright, one more stomp. One more kill. But there's a stone bolt ready. And level 6. That should be it. Storm bolt, right clicks, TC dead again for the third time. And that must be too much. Ah, <laughs> earthquake for a little bit of extra fun towards the end. But Leon does take this map. All right, Leon again, showing what he's made of. Good play here. Mountain King carrying in the late game as he's supposed to, despite having weak items. This MK had almost no items to speak of, but Leon utilizing him well. That Cloak of, Fla uh, the Cloak of Shadows. I see it over and over. Cloak of Shadows saving Mountain King when they're in trouble. And here, again the case. Well done by Leon. Moving on. I mean, not moving on in the tournament, but moving on to take match point in the series. One map away now from surviving in the lower bracket. Ice Orc now against the ropes. One more map given away. And this is the end of the line for him. Oh. And... We got some more drinks to show off, baby. Super cocoa. This is one of the few things where I know what it is. That's a coconut drink. Coconut milk drink, I guess. Oh, it might be empty though. A long series here. We could go full distance. If Ice Orc wins the next map, we're gonna have a seventh map decider. Ugh, again, again, look at that picture, dude. Look at that headshot picture. God damn. God damn. Makes you question some things in your life that you thought you knew, doesn't it? Ooh. Leon looking hot in the game and looking hot in the picture. Now with a chance of having his deepest run yet in the B Cup. As I said, last season Leon was eliminated in the group stage where he lost to Dice. For the third map, we're gonna have an interesting one. Twisted Meadows. A very special case. A map where lots of things can happen, lots of items can be found, lots of randomness is also involved. And where... This series could end, or we go full distance if Icework wins now. The only Leon I know 
from Warcraft 3 is Leon and Leon from Resident Evil. Oh yeah, Resident Evil 4. I'm trying to remember. He was blonde though, right? That Leon was blonde. So not looking exactly like our Leon. But I can see a little bit of a similarity. I can sort of see it. Okay, our game is about to be ready. One minute, and then we are ready to join. After that, there's going to be one more series, of course, for the day. It's going to be an undead mirror between two Chinese players, Pink and PCG. They have been uh, part of the Chinese scene, the tier 2, tier 3 scene for a long time. But surprisingly, they haven't played in a long while either. So we'll see later on who's going to be the dominant Chinese undead. Both have lived in the shadow of 1 to 0 their whole career. But it looks like Pink is uh, has improved quite a bit from recent results. I'll be curious to see what that is going to be looking like. Twisted Meadows. What will we see here? This is a map where some humans in the past liked to play MK Fast Expo quite a bit. Especially for Fortitude, this was the case for a long time. But it always seems a bit risky if the first few creep camps go wrong, if you take too much damage, if you run out of mana. MK can find himself having issues, it seems. And the best games so far for Leon seem to be the ones where he wasn't playing Fast Expo, but rather one base. But yeah, Twisted Meadows, if you feel like Fast Expanding, normally a pretty good map for it. Okay. Here we go. Map number six in our series. First things first, what is the hero going to be? All right, I am super thirsty, guys. I got to get some water real quick. I'll be back in a minute. Alrighty, now we're back. So it's no Mountain King first, but rather Archmage and Leon with the spawn close to the Merc Camp. We saw earlier how good mercenaries can be. Shadow Priest, especially on the human side, amazing to have easy to spell against the wolves. And also Shadow Priest benefits from the Brilliance Aura. Oh, he's not going to go for the creep, though. Going to go for the natural right away. Oh. In the main base. Oh, there's no arcane tower. Oh, no arcane tower means uh, these wolves could be pretty painful. 
Let's see how it goes. Ice work. Checking the shop, nothing there. Checking the merc, I mean. Checking the lab, nothing there. So it's gonna go into the main base. AM with a pendant. Not a good early game item, but it's good late game. And is reacting quickly with the peasants here. Level 2 is achieved, so Shadow Priest now benefiting from the Brilliance Aura as well. And he's got the Dispel ready. Oh! Farseer trapped in the main with a Water Elemental Summon. This should be a TP forced in the end, I guess. One Dispel on the Wolf. Headhunter gonna go over to the expansion. Look to do damage there, but yeah, indeed, the TP is forced. Farseer is out of the action for a long time. And there's still two footies here ready to defend. Looks like a good start so far for Leon. Farseer experience is zero. And look at the Shadow Priest. Still, lots of mana. Again, the Brilliance Aura helping him regen. Not wasting mana on heal right now. He's keeping that mana available for more dispel. Farseer again, going towards Leon's main base. Wants to harass there again with, uh, with the wolves. One peasant goes down. Lots of militia time here is going to be necessary, but there was enough lumber to finish the, t uh, the power build. So the expo is up. Would love to see Leon split his forces more. Have more footies at the expo, because two footies is not enough to deal with all the headhunters here. Two peasants go down. And now the footies having issues against these headhunters. A town is under siege. Leon under pressure here. But he should be able to kill one of the headhunters at least. Fast here also. Hurt already. Archmage was full HP for a long time, still looking very healthy. And trying to block another headhunter on the way home. Oh, might be even two headhunter kills here, possibly. Shadow Priest with full mana, that's amazing. Can also heal the Archmage now, and that he does. Good play by Leon. But only one headhunter went down in the end. Tier 2 is done, we got the TC coming, Bestiary, Lodge. Forces are under attack. But now Leon's expansion looks safe. The Arcane Tower should be finishing. We see an early Lumber Mill here as well. And a bit more creeping for Leon. One more Dispel. And all of a sudden the Fast here is very low on mana. Archmage getting pretty close to level 3 already. Headhunters though, breaking through again. They can get another Cancel here, which is kind of nice. Oh, Leon very fast with the repair. Is he actually able to save it? Oh, damn. Quick reaction by Leon. Well done. The high APM paying off. And if he gets just one more wolf to spell, that would be the level up. Headhunter's now kind of stranded out here. They're in a weird position. And I think one headhunter here must certainly be dead. Shadow Priest also falling, but there we go. That's AM level 3. Goes to the level 2 Watch Elementals right away. But it will have Shaman against them very, very soon. Leon starts the tech. Lots of lumber on him. Can go for more and more peasants, 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 and footies. Ice work. Clearing the gold mine. But another headhunter goes down. This is starting to look pretty scary for the orc. Archmage also basically full mana. He can spam water elementals now like crazy and go for a big attack. Circlet boots. He had the gold easily. And this game now seems to be looking very good for Leon. Oh, he's got defend as well. I didn't even realize. Defend also. This looks to be a perfect attacking position for Leon. But the orc army isn't looking too shabby. A player's forces are under attack. Now 
They are not quite able to involve the footies, really. I think he tried to go for Merc Pool, but that didn't quite work. Water Elemental pressure right now. Counter expansion is coming up, though. There is a chance still here for Ice Orc. If he gets this Counter, counter Expo excuse me, up and running, Purge a little bit too late. The Burrow goes down. And that is going to be a bit of a supply block for a little while. Leon turtling up, setting up towers, setting up a farm wall. Oh, but a creep jack now. Leon getting caught at the shop creep. Muffet is going down. Item stolen. Leon's trying to buy time while waiting for his tech. The tech now almost done. Time for the MK. Walk levels are looking good though. Oh, Rune Bracer sold. Oh, really? Even against the Mountain King. Okay. Comes as a bit of a surprise to me. Leon again pushing into the main. Ice Horse getting ready for his own attack, taking out the enemy Merc Camp here. Mountain King will not be able to creep that. Next Water Elemental is ready. There we go. Oh, Reinforced Defenses finishes just in time. Oh man, that was so important. Otherwise, the Burrow here would have gone down. And the Great Hall isn't quite done yet. Oh, might still go down. Oh man, it's so close. I think he's holding though. Holding just barely. I am now scouting the Great Hall, but it's too late to find the cancel. And now Isor is cleaning up the rest. TC with a great experience. Three and a half already. MK finds himself far behind. Needs to find some creeping soon as well. Oh, one shaman gonna go down. Shaman are very cheap though, 130 gold only. And Leon is again going tier 3. With more rifles. Oh, that's a tough camp to creep right here. Leon going for a shredder. Is that even gonna be enough? The footies are getting owned by the creeps here. No long rifles yet either. Many humans when going tier 3 go for uh, griffins. But Leon doesn't seem to be that big of a fan. Archmage. Very hurt. Uh, we saw the AM die earlier unnecessarily. Leon doesn't want to repeat that mistake. Oh, AM caught. Has to TP. Not easy for Leon to creep right now. Ice Orc has full map control. Ice Orc is aware, I think. Level 4 on the TC, really good. 3.5 on the Foss here. And Ice Orc is aggressively on the enemy side of the map, trying to take camps away from him, look for creep jacks. And limit Leon's movement. But now tier 3 is done. The Shredder is about to alleviate all the lumber issues. Okay, big item for the TC. What's it gonna be? Cadgas gem. I don't think that's good in this case. TC was tanky enough already. Don't think that's the item he really wanted. Paladin. Knights. And a lot of casters. 
Org Expo up and running. 2,000 gold for Ice Org. My, my. I think Ice Org should be going for an attack, right? Break into upkeep, go for an attack. If Leon can just be allowed to creep all the time, that's the dream for him. If he can just keep on leveling his triple hero, that would be the absolutely perfect scenario for Leon. Calling Militia. Leon might be going for a second expansion. MK items here are looking very, very good. Outstanding. TC, what did he get here? Uh, Scourge Bung Chimes is okay. But there's not that much melee. All things considered, I think. Priest Master Training, Sork Master Training, also coming. Peasants will be setting up an expansion here, I guess. Red Camp being taken for Leon. Level 3 for him. Pendant? Uh, no, wait. Uh, Staff of Silence, I mean. Great find as well, although that can be purged. Maybe not that great, considering purge. Isok now with a big army. 2,200 gold still. Leon is also getting a ton of upgrades though. Here comes the attack towards the expansion. We have one mortar team only so far and it's shockwave level 3. Ooh, baby. Huge damage towards the peasants right away. Pally level 2. What's the item here? Oh, Lionhorn. It's kind of good, right? So we can go for Divine Shield. TP home forced, counter TP. But Leon now has a third base. 79 supply, huge army. Can go for staffs now as well. And he's making a tank against Orc. That is unheard of. Leon needs heat scrolls though. We saw earlier what happened when he got, got caught by a uh, chain wave, didn't have heat scrolls. Archmage? Archmage? Where are you going, buddy? Oh, Leon, careful. Tom of retraining. And yeah, heat scrolls. That makes sense. Leon gonna have to TP again. The TC shockwave is seriously dangerous. Up the other expansion. Oh, the shredder almost goes down. Leon, you want to protect that shredder, buddy? Human army walking back home. All right, is he gonna take the fight? Clap Blizzard is crazy strong. He's probably gonna take the knights out with uh, the Kodos and then TP away, maybe. But the first Kodo goes down right away. The more team damage against the Kodo beast is really good as well. Kodo's moving in again. Still one knight in the stomach. Leon, did he use the heal scrolls so far? Yeah, the first one, but not the second. TPing away. Leon tried to reposition. Oh, the clap lizard is doing insane work. And the mortar teams as well. The tier 3 human is fully online. Pally level 3 as well. Very, very strong. And of course, the third base up and running. No tier 3 on Ice Orc. Still so much gold though, still 2k in the bank. I would love to see more shops being made by Leon. Regent Scrolls Clarities, Regent Scrolls Clarities and Staff. All those are very nice. High upkeep for Leon. Never mind, he cancelled it. No high upkeep. Scouting around with a gyro. Leon's bank is much slower. Much smaller, I mean. Is he gonna TP to protect this base? Leon's army is hurt. This doesn't look at all like 80 supply, to be honest. 
You can bought a new TP, I think that's smart. Bought a new TP to get away if necessary. How many knights are being devoured? There's one here. Yeah, I think only this one, because this doesn't look like 80 supply. It's a good army, but it's not a huge army. Oh, shockwave again. Towers being taken out again. Sign from the TC. Preventing the shockwave here for a little while. Clab Blizzard, of course, doing tremendous work. No staff to save the knight. Pally has full mana. Where is the Holy Light? Oh, chain wave in the back again. Dude, where is the Holy Light? He's not using the spell. There we go. Finally, a Holy Light being used at last. Wizard again. Big damage. Waiting for the clap. We don't even need it, apparently. Archmage. Heard as well. TC in trouble. Clap. Blizzard. But the Blizzard might be a little bit off. TC. Oh my god. TP last second. Farseer in trouble as well. And the Farseer goes down. Right before the TP. Icehawk lost a ton. 3,000 gold though. He can rebuild pretty easily. Doesn't have anything at the shop at the moment though. At the tavern, I mean. MK level 4, super strong. Archmage level 5, super strong. Pally also close to level 4. Players' forces are under attack. Isoc finally spending his gold. TC close to level 6. Fasir, not quite level 4, f level 5 yet, surprisingly, but he's close as well. I think there's still no control magic. Oh no, there is. There is control magic. 2-2 two, two breakers, 2-2 two, two knights. Extremely powerful late game human army. And Isor spending all of his gold, but that's only a tier 2 army that he's building here. Not tier 3, no third hero, no crazy upgrades, no torrents. And Clap is against everything here. Really amazing. These Raiders are getting shredded by the Knights. Shockwave comes in. Decent damage, but there's a heal scroll against it as well. MK can always be healed with the Holy Light. Level 2 Holy Light now. Super, super strong. Paladin gets to level 4. Very high level as well. And everything except for the TC now dies easily. It's level 3 Brilliant Zora, by the way. Which I like quite a bit. TC surrounded, but do you really want to kill him? He's going to come back with full mana. Yes, he doesn't mind. Ankh triggered. Reincarnation. He's gonna try to get the surround again. Sort of. Archmage is hurt, but there is the Holy Light again. Trying to get the kill, but he can't get him. Can't get the surround. Blizzard in the back. Big damage again. Chain Lightning. Oh, the Knights. In serious trouble here. Using the staff. Pally with so much... Divine Shield up time with a level 2 Holy Light. Uh, Divine, of course. MK close to level 5. 5 5 4 hero levels around the corner. Very, very strong. 2 3 upgrades on the Breakers, even. 3 3 on the way. Main has expired. But of course, the expo here still mining, the expo here still mining. 
Oh, and the TC is trapped. No way to get out. TC, no in reincarnation available. Wait, there's a TP. He bought a TP somehow. Okay, never mind. Barely getting away with that TP. And there is a new orc expansion up over here. This human army is so tough to deal with. Isok needs hero kills. He needs to kill the Pally, and then the Archmage, and then the Mountain King. And then there's a chance. But Leon has so many resources as well. Setting up a fourth base. Three armor upgrade knights. Pretty tanky. They can be killed at some point. Oh, that's pretty cute. Lightning shield harass. But Leon doesn't seem to be too concerned. His expo here is about to be up. Got more towers. And Leo now enjoying a big bank. At some point we had 3,000 gold on Ice Orc. These times are far behind us now. Ice Orc trying to rebuild over at the natural after his main has been ravaged. I think Icewalk knows he can't win a fight. Maybe he can win with base lane. He does have level 3 shockwave. A decentish army still. TP home now. One shockwave is all he has on the TC. Now he's out of mana. Looking good. It's looking very good for Leon here to get the win today with a 4 to 2. This would be his first win ever against Ice Orc. A player's forces are under attack. And with a level 5 Mountain King, you can have a lot of fun. Farseer in trouble, Stonebolt, Clap, almost finding the kill. Just enough to be saved here with the Imbo Potion. But the Holy Light is doing so much damage on the other side. Inner Fire, Holy Light, Triple Hero, all so strong, and the Farseer is dead. Dice to the next Stonebolt. Oi, and the MK Clap here. Gonna put an end to this game. One kill after the next. Only the TC will be left in the end, and Ice Orc has to call it. GG. And Leon takes map number six and takes the win in the series. He's going to survive in this tournament and play on in the lower bracket next up against Lawliot.